We know you love us, but the information on our podcast is provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended as a substitute for professional advice of any kind. If you or anyone you know needs professional help, please seek mental health services. Welcome to the Date Podcast, the show for anyone navigating the dating and relationship world. We interview celebrities, talk pop news, discuss dating do's and don'ts, and debate relationship topics. We are available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Please subscribe and review if you like what you hear. Check out our website, datepodcast.com, for more information. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, let's get on with the show. <laughs> host of the day podcast and we have another very exciting summer show for you guys do we have another guest no it's just us oh just us that's good too right i think so yeah. i hope so i think everyone loves it when we're just talking and ranting i'm sure yeah see everybody everyone loves my rants loves right the rants yeah everyone loves it when emma rants about something right yes i like um, how many seconds was that? Okay, so a minute and 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, we love Emma's rant. How was your, uh, oh, what are we talking about today? Today, we're going to continue our summer theme. And so we're going to talk about how to get your summer fling into a relationship. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Fun. I need to figure that out for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Which friend? Uh, his name is, um... Oh, you're going to say his name? Jordan. Oh, that's a fake name. Spieth. Is that no, a real person? That is a real person. He is a golfer, but he doesn't oh. need my help, <laughs> oh. obviously. Uh, okay, so we're talking about that, and then that's it? Yes. Oh, how was your weekend? Um, How was my weekend? What did I do this weekend? Masturbate. No, Stop. You went to the half price bookstore and looked for books on knitting and croquet. Crocheting? Crocheting. Actually, I had my niece. I'm just remember everything now. I had my mm-hmm. niece. So we did more. More niece we stuff. We played. Yeah. We played, played with Barbie dolls. Yep. And you played with bags. Yep. Okay. Yeah, all the fun stuff. She got to hang out with one of my friends, and she, like, was, like, so happy. What does that even mean? Like, one of your friends? Like, one of my adult friends who oh. also has a baby. Oh. But the baby's here to play with her. Okay, it so you so had cute. a play date? We did. We had a play date. Okay. Yeah, after going to the zoo. Does she like other humans? That was rough. Um, it depends on how much attention the human is giving her. Mm-hmm. So just think about her. Like a mini version of me. So like if you oh keep gosh. giving me attention, like it's fine. Mm-hmm. And so she's that way too. <laughs> We're both like Tinkerbell. When you don't pay enough attention to us or start clapping for us, like we will die. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I don't know if I can have two of you guys in one. She's like one half of you, right? Because yeah. she's like a baby. She's, she's like four. Four. Okay. She's four. So hmm. we came and hung out with you too. But not really. Oh, at my place. Yeah. Um, with uh, Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. She That's had a lot cool. of fun. That's cool. Did you guys hang in here with the boys, or you just? No, we were just at the pool the whole time. Uh, was it packed? No, it was really empty. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It was crazy. It was a Saturday, right? It was a Saturday, and we were here for like, like afternoon. Hmm. Like yeah. legit afternoon. See, I think my pool isn't the most uh, social pool. I think there are better ones out there. Oh. Yeah, my yeah the pool where I used to live at was always packed. Like mm-hmm. from eleven a.m. it was. Like oh yeah, because that, that you're like in you were in prime time. Yeah, like Dallas. Anyways, yeah. it was fun, relaxing. It was great. Cool. What right. else did I do? Oh, that's right. So speaking of friends, that Gracie. Um. Ooh, crap. Oh, ah. There you go. <laughs> Too late for that. That's gonna be edited out. Okay. Um. Of people that my niece likes. Mm-hmm. I bought a ticket to San Diego, so I'm going to California for the first time ever. San Diego is a place with hot men, so get ready because it's going to be 
crazy out there. I hope uh, Shannon's listening to this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Emma is going to be all over that. I'm kind of excited. We're going to do a, hopefully a wine tasting. Probably just going to go to the beach by myself. And when are you going? In July. What? July what? July in a few weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fun. I would say I'd come with you, but is it a weekend? Kind of. Oh. It's boo. just, it's, and it's right before Shannon's birthday, so it's definitely like a special time for us. Okay. So you That's can't fun. come to this boo. one. I'm you can come up. to the next one. Oh, yeah? I don't yeah. want to get to the next one. I want to I wanna go to this one. No, we're going to oh. do cycle classes too. Do you really want to come to that? Mm hmm. I'll be drunk. At seven in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mimosas. <laughs> Oh right. my gosh. Yeah. My most in one hand and cycle in my other hand and Emma on the left of me complaining about cycling. Actually, I love cycle. Oh, okay. Okay. I do. Well. Cycle is the only thing that keeps me going sometimes. Mm -hmm. What else keeps you going? I don't know. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. You were out of the country this past weekend too, weren't you? So I went to Canada and learned a lot of things about how great their health care is. Yes. Um, but the problem is you have to wait. Yes. Like my cousin, ha I was there for a wedding and my cousin was telling me that he had a back issue, but he was like on a six month wait. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, but you can buy, you can go to any place and just go pay, pay out of pocket. But if you want those benefits right. and perks and their taxes are better there, better, higher there. They're higher. Higher. And uh, it's cleaner there for some reason. Like the airports over there really nice the roads really nice it's like a nice do you think it's like house. the disney world of countries i think so. i think so um and everyone's nice there because whenever you go to a restaurant the waitress is like sorry sorry oh sorry. yeah they say sorry all the time they say all the time it's like either sorry and thank you yeah that is what they say um but i, I like it over there we went to a wedding and um Jen met my parents. Ooh. Oh. So it was cool. Like, the thing is, though, it was so quick. We flew in Friday. Um, we had um, the wedding on around noontime. And then we kind of hung out with my cousins. And then reception and all that happened. And then we were just talking to my cousins because I haven't seen them in, like, 13 years. Yeah. Which is crazy, right? You don't see, when you no. don't see people. So I'm, like, don't know them anymore. It's, like, their lives are different. Because you guys, like, grew up together. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you became adults separately. Mm-hmm. And then plus it's harder to travel to Canada, which is, it's really not. It's just, it's just not an, a focus of mine. And I was like, guys, we all need to meet up like yeah. at least within every few years because this is ridiculous. And I love my cousins. So she met them and we had a great time. What did your mom say? Or is this, uh, a, is this an off air no, conversation? She, no, she liked, she liked uh, Jen. So it was all positive. My dad liked Jen. Um... Like we would be, we would take family photos, like cousins and relatives. Yeah. And my dad was always like, "Go, go, 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 go in the photo." So like, you know, she was very welcomed. I can say that. And then she was, she took it like a champ too, because it's like meeting huh. all my relatives. Like, For sure. Like jumping in and, and the thing is too is I didn't, I don't, I don't know this cousin. It's because like it's like a long lost, it's like a not long lost cousin, but we're we're like, I don't know, we are like. 17 years apart oh my god yeah so she's young she's like a young young buck getting married to oh, like 20 yeah like 20 21 22 oh something my like that gosh. uh she's very young and um you know that's a whole whole podcast in, a, in and of itself oh, like yeah. marrying young but it was great a great wedding like the the uh, husband which is not on our side paid for the whole wedding oh wow. and it was like it was like pretty crazy but so me and my brothers was were it like the wedding that you aspired to have one day? Did he have a lion and and an elephant? He had a lion. He had a, like a dance team. And Wait, he, was, he had a lion. He's Chinese, so he had a dance team, and they were dancing in like uh, they had a dragon, one of those dragon dances. Yeah. So it was a dragon and a lion, but they had two dragons. Huh. It was really cool. I'll show you the um, the video later, but it's it was really awesome. And then um, me and my brothers. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've met them yet, but I met one of them. We're really ghetto and gangster, and <laughs> so like we found out that it was an open bar, so we went to a liquor store and snuck in like liquor into the reception. That it wasn't an open was bar. Was not was not open an open bar. Oh my gosh! It's ridiculous. So we snuck in 
like a, like a bottle of Johnny Walker Black, two bottles of vodka, and some other stuff. And like me, I was already kind of buzzed. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna put this bottle on top of my on top of our table with my oh parents. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the hotel staff was like, Nope, you can't have that. We're taking this up. <gasps> and I was like, These motherfuckers. Yeah, you're so not supposed. That's that's yeah. that is. In the Latin culture, that is rule number one that you don't, like, you can't break. You have to keep it under the table at all times. Because oh. the moment that the hotel staff sees it, they have to take it away. So we we don't ever do that. Mm. So it was taken so away. you're not that gangster. I'm not the gangster, but we did have three bottles under our table still. <laughs> <laughs> so. How many people were coming over to you? It was just, you know, 15 of us. We were just drinking back and forth. Okay. But what's funny there is, you know how they have, they call it a cash bar. Mm-hmm. Over here in the United States, they call it a toonie bar. Oh, which th- their currency is loony. Like yes. one dollar is loony. Uh huh. Two dollars is toonie. So it's like a cash bar, but everything's two bucks. Mm-hmm. So which is interesting, right? It's just it's different. But yeah, we just kept drinking and it was fun. And then we went to a, a after that we went to a bar, and it was raining. We went to the bar like all like ten of us, and uh, there was a long ass line, a very trendy bar over there, <laughs> long ass line. And we we're going to buy some bottles, like bottle service, but it was like $700. We we're like, fuck that. No. So oh we my. ran to the bar across the street, and then we noticed as we we're walking in, it was a strip club. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're not going into a fucking strip club. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we walked down the street to another bar, which was like two, no, like five blocks away. And we were all like cussing and screaming because we just wanted to go to a bar and drink. Right. But we were already drunk too, so it wasn't that bad. But it was raining in Canada, and it was cold. cold. It was terrible. But we finally found a bar, and it was a Latin bar. And I was like, the Latina, the Latino community in Canada is like the smallest. And it's kind of cool that they do have Latin bars there, because it's. I think there's a bigger Asian community there than like like Latin community. I have a Salvadoran cousin that lives in Canada. Oh, there you go. So he's like probably one of the. She's one of the few. But when we went into the bar. I like it there because you go in and they uh, they check everything. So you go into the bar, you get your ID out, and they scan it and they look into t- look in a criminal database for your <laughs> background, right? And then they take a picture of you, and if you pass those two things, then you can go into the bar. But I don't remember that. Okay. But they, uh, if you have a bag, they still check your bag. Huh. So there's like it's and you know, you wonder why there's no shootings or whatever in in these bars. In uh, in Canada, it's because like their their security is really good. So, anyways, that was my weekend. Sorry to blab, but it was fun, and uh, that's my story. So now Zorg's gonna want a dragon, along with the elephant and the tigers at his wedding. I want a. It doesn't have to be real anymore. It could be a fake one. A fake dragon. <laughs> it could be a fake dragon and a fake. I don't know. If <laughs> <laughs> dragons are real, but okay. Yeah, it's a fake <laughs> dragon with people just wearing costumes and. I have like a dumb question. Please don't play my phone if I ask it. Okay. Were dragons like ever real or is it like the unicorn? Um, so there are dragon like lizards. Yeah, I know yeah. that. But um, no, they're not. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call this episode Were Dragons Real? <laughs> no, but okay. To your point. There are so many like fables and stories in like the Asian culture, right. and even Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh, Game of Thrones! There's yes, dragons, which right? Which I it was like, I think that they're fake, but I'm like, dino, you know, like maybe like they're pretending to be dinosaurs in the bones, or we haven't just found the dino, like we haven't found the dragon bones yet. Ma- I don't know. Maybe there were. Maybe there yeah. were. I don't know where they I came don't from. Know but either. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Have you been drinking or smoking? No. Are you on? Are you on mushrooms right now? Mm, no. No. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. So that's it. <sighs> and uh, let's talk about. Oh, news. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. I'm waiting for you to speak. Oh, yeah. I know. You're <laughs> going to cut me off. So there he goes. Okay. I'm going to start with the sad news first. And then I'll end with happy news. So I'm going to do like a journey through sadness okay. into happiness. So there's been a split. Um, Laverne Cox and her boyfriend, Kyle Draper, have split after two years of dating. And Laverne Cox is known for being an actress in Orange is the New Black. She actually met Kyle on a dating app. 
app. Dating app is mm -hmm. called. Let me guess, Bumble. I'm trying to find it, but it just says dating app. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just. Oh, hold on. I have to click on the link. I'm clicking. It was Tinder. Tinder. It was Tinder. So they started dating. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. In 2017, so they were together for yeah for two years, and now it's over. Hmm. So does it talk about why? Um, no, it doesn't. It just says that. Um, well, they kept it like very just general, I guess. Um, like it's just time to move on separately. We want to break up that honors and shares and respects the quality of our relationship, and that's it. Two years, that's a long time. I think, you know, you know how sometimes, you know, it's ending within yeah. like a year or two. Um, I think we're having a conversation with somebody and they were saying, I think it was, was it Amanda? But like six months, typically six months, you'll know right. what's, what's going on. But two years. But, but then it, when you're a celebrity, sometimes you don't want to rush into things. So I don't, I don't want to compare celebrity right. relationships to like humans he is the ceo of a record label called mateo sound mm. yeah okay so well that's cool yeah well sad for them i i know they'll land on their feet jump back on tinder guys yeah yeah so i wish both of them luck and whatever mm -hmm. they're going to do they will in be in the future they will find love soon okay did you ever watch the hills no Emma, are dragons real? Shut up. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Gosh, see, I knew I shouldn't have asked it. No. And I wanted to, it's like, to, like just <laughs> ask it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I did, I, I watched The Hills, a few of them, like Spencer and Heidi and who was the other one with? Elsie. Elsie. Yeah, she was like the main character, right? Yeah. And then the other dude. Yeah, what about him? Brody Jenner. So it's back. Um, so basically, like, Spencer and Heidi are back because, of course, you know, those two. Um, Audrina is back. Um, Whitney is back. Brody Jenner is back. And then they added Misha Barton. Do you know who that is? I've heard the name. Sh did you ever watch The O.C.? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me look her up real quick. Uh, Misha Barton. Misha Barton. She was in the OC. Oh, she was also the girl that threw up mm -hmm. in the that one movie about ghost with um, Mel Gibson and Haley Joel Osment, the I See Dead People movie. What was that called? Where he was like, I see dead people. Oh, Do she's yeah, that? yeah. I see, I see her. I see you. I see you, girl. Misha Barton. So you think okay. she's pretty? Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So in London, um, the first time I went to London, we were walking to this market, mm -hmm. and we happened to pass by her boutique in London. Oh. Because apparently she's half English, I think, or was braced. Yeah, that's her. She's she's beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess I know what you're going to be R watching. Reminds about. me of Claire, <coughs> right? No. That picture, maybe. This but picture, yeah. And that button... No. Other pictures, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, weird thing with Brody Jenner is that apparently, like, he's telling people that um, he's in an open relationship with his wife. Well, that's <laughs> who is he married to? He's married to Caitlin Carter. Caitlin with a K. Okay. And apparently, in the show, um, she's like, uh, she confronts him about getting a lap dance at a club, and because basically, like, he's telling the the dancer that he's in an open relationship and. She's like, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Oh, she's cute. I mean, I, I don't know. I wonder how long they've. I mean, you know, you know, there's probably. They've things been going married on. since 2018. Yeah, just recent. So it's been like a year that they're married. Mm -hmm. Any resemblance here? Any? I mean, that's his dad. Yeah. Um, 2018. Yeah. So it's been a year. That they've, but they've known each other since 2013. Yeah. So I guess it took a while for him to want to settle down. Hmm. He was kind of known as like the bad boy. Like whenever LC like started dating him, I was like, no, LC, no, oh. not good. Why is he the bad boy? Well, Justin Bobby was the bad boy. He was kind of like the good best friend that like became like you shouldn't date him. 
if that I makes gotcha. sense. Um, yeah, like that's me with my one of my friends. And I was like, you should not do this. <laughs> <laughs> you should run for Z Hills. Yeah, run, yeah. run away as fast as you can. Yeah, but what? Okay, in Brody's mind, maybe the 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 relationship is going kind of downhill, right? Because well, that's isn't the only that like the point that you should be having a conversation with her instead of like. No, because men don't. We cheat. <sighs> we 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 do everything we can because you know what? We're scared of conf- confronting the real issue, um, and yeah, and the real issue is he's just unhappy. Which sucks. I know it sucks, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, just end it. <laughs> well, when you're married, it's just difficult. Whether you're married or you're not married. True. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> and what? at the same time, if you're unhappy with someone, like don't be with them. Okay. Just put that is true. There. That is true. All right. Yeah. What else? What else? Okay. Let's start off with one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. So this came up on my Instagram yesterday so mindy kaling had a, had her 40th birthday over the weekend and um <coughs> she celebrated with bj novak who is ryan from the office mm-hmm. and so there's a picture of her like holding this cake and on the cake is a picture of her like holding a thumbs up while holding a cake mm-hmm. it's, but it's so she like it's like a cake exception thing so the the p- cake has a picture of her Holding a cake and holding the thumb, and okay. so her picture is holding the cake that has that picture. Oh, she's holding up her thumb. Okay, that's cool. But BJ's in the back, and the way that he's staring at her, like, has brought up all these memes. That are like, I need someone that looks at me the way BJ looks at Mindy, <laughs> because everybody just wants them to be yeah. together. They're not together. They're not together. Okay, why not? I don't know. I don't hmm. know. In her book, oh, she wrote this beautiful story about him that I can't, t- I will start crying, so never mind. Okay, talk I'm about not, it right no, now. No, I can't. But, um, no, because a lot of people, like, thought that that was the dad, um, that it was her daughter's father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but she, like, made it very clear that he's actually the godfather. Oh, And okay. she also said that, like, she's not going to talk about who her daughter's father is until she's had an opportunity to like to tell her daughter Mm -hmm. first and like have that conversation with her first, Hmm. which makes sense. Yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cause she keeps her daughter very private on Insta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should, I think. Yeah. But actually if I, my parents were famous, I'd be like, you should pimp me out. Like I would want to be like on TV and this and that, because I swear it will help my career. You're like, I love the Beckham so much. Mm hmm. But yes, they always post their kids on it too. Yeah, but they're always like, prim- like they're always like, we love these guys, you know. So I I know that that the thing is to like keep your kids private and all that, but I think the more your kids are in like the public eye, it builds like equity, rec- like w- w- as far as like you who you are, hmm. and when you grow up, you'll be like, y- it'll be easier to like market products, you know, you'll be y- you'll have more opportunities. Hmm. So. Just like the Kardashians, yeah. you see what happened there. Yeah, they're and, the worst. And 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 now they're like making tons of dough, and I don't know why people don't want to follow that. I know you know there's privacy, whatever, but I'm not a, I'm not for like keeping it. If I'm famous, I will bring my kids around and show them off and this and that because I'm proud of them too, right? I don't want to have to hide them all the time. Like, this is my this is my. This and is I'm my like kid. the complete opposite. I'm like hide them. No. Yes. Anyways, we can agree to disagree. We do agree to disagree. Okay, what's next? So that's all I have. Okay. Did you know like we're super close to our 100th episode? Uh, 100 episodes, guys. Yeah. You know, and it goes so fast, you know? You guys have listened to us for like 100 weeks. 100 weeks. Yeah, uh, like at least 100, I was going to say 100 minutes, but <laughs> 130 minutes. No, 50 hours. At least, because if, if the episodes are at least 30 minutes, that's 50 hours. 50 hours of us on the mics. Can you believe that? I don't understand where your math the is math coming is right. from. 100, 100 episodes. So our episodes are at least 30 minutes long. Right. So it's going to be um, half of that. So it's going to be... <laughs> wait, now I'm confused. Good. Wait, hold on. 100 episodes... Oh, shit. So let me get my Kay. calculator. 100 episodes. 
that means 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So that's actually 3,000 ge- minutes? Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think that's 3,000 3, minutes. 3,000 minutes divided by... There's no division. No. Where's it's the division 50 coming hours. from? It's 50 hours. How are you dividing this? Well, 3,000 minutes, so there's 60 minutes in one hour, and that's 50 hours if I convert it to hours. Emma is writing on a piece of paper like a teacher. 50 hours, okay? 3,000 divided by 60 is 50. So. Six times five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, keep going. No, keep, keep no count. yeah, six times five is 30. Okay. <laughs> Emma's slowly writing on her piece of paper trying to calculate how to convert minutes to hours. You're right. 3,000. Yeah. Emma's 3,000. No, yeah, divided okay. By? I got, never mind. 60. That's, this is why I don't do math. Do dragons exist? Shut up! <laughs> I should have said yes, so you'll be just telling everybody that dragons exist. I'm going to Google it right now. No, that is not true. Okay, so I think our audience wants to talk about summer flings and how to turn them into relationships, right, Emma? Did dragons, <laughs> dragons? exist? What if I'm wrong? Google Dinner. knew. Where did dragons come from? Oh, a history of the mythical fire breathing. Yes. Okay, give us like two seconds. <sighs> Ten seconds. Live science. Dragons are known in many culture. In many cultures, it's not clear when or where stories first emerge. Um, ancient Greeks, Sumerians. Um, I don't know. Okay, the belief in dragons was based not just in legend, but also in hard evidence, for at least that's what people thought. Um, okay, so no one knew what to make about the giant bones that were occasionally unearthed around the globe. So dragons seemed to be a logical choice for people who had no knowledge of dinosaurs. Thank you, life science. Yay. We That's found where out. it comes from. Okay. There you go. Okay, Emma, what are we talking about today? <laughs> We're talking about seven tips for turning a summer fling into a relationship, according to an expert. Doesn't that sound kind of, um, I don't know, like you're forcing things? Yeah. Like, I want to turn this into a relationship. Because I love him or I like him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that how a lot of relationships get started, though? Somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody wants it. And I, I, there's, do you know of any situation where someone was like, yeah, Steve and myself, we wanted to be in a relationship at the same time. Like we, because usually it's somebody else that is wondering and the other person's aloof, usually the yeah. dude. Um, Rarely, it's the guy who wants to be in a relationship with her. It's always like this mis, this yeah disconnect, right? The only person that comes to my mind that like that really didn't happen was Shannon and Charles. Oh yeah, yeah, because they both wanted to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, no, oh, Drew was like perfect. <laughs> you would pushed her to to get in that relationship, but okay. Speaking of, don't push it. Yeah. So the dating expert is Rachel D'Alto. Um, yeah, and the first thing that she says is don't push it. Be patient. Why? Like, when you know what you want uh, out of um, a relationship, why should, why should you just go for it? Well, she's, she warns about getting I'm carried asking, away. I'm asking oh, you're you. asking me. What, yeah. what was the question well, in here? Well, if we want to, be, if <laughs> I want to be in a relationship with somebody, why not just go for it? Why do I have to just not push it? Mm. I'm asking you. I don't know the answer. Therapize to that. this question. I guess just do it. If you want to ask her out, then just ask her out, man. Okay. So what are the negative consequences of doing it and she's not ready? She could end it with you. Mm-hmm. She'd be like, oh, no. No, thanks. No, no. Oh. No. That sucks. But Do you know what Zorich just gave me that I can't get out of my mouth? Sorry, just sidebar real quick. <laughs> Nothing sexual, guys. No, he like bought these ketchup chips in Canada and gave me one. And I swear it's like putting a whole like packet of ketchup in my mouth and I've been drinking wine and it's the, like the taste has not gone away. Like you it's know, still stuck. Like I can't stop like 
sort of obsessing about it. It's you want some, don't you? No, you I want don't. Some more. I you want, want the, some ketchup I in want, your mouth. <laughs> I want the taste gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, keep drinking. I'm trying to. Mm-hmm. But basically, like, be patient. Like, you guys are spending a lot of time together. Like, you're enjoying each other's company. Like, enjoy your company, like, while it's enjoyable. Because her second one is, like, to push it a little bit. Um, so, like, you want to be patient, but just don't allow things to go stagnant. And don't allow things to go stagnant. But how do you push it? Like, what does that mean? Her advice is to, like, um, introduce your crush to your friends. Ugh. What if I'm not ready? Exactly. Then I'm, like, then... Then, if it was me, I'd be like, I don't want to hang out right. I'm busy or whatever. Or her. You know, mm-hmm. she, it, someone could not be ready. I think you should, uh, yeah, feel it out. You For know? sure. Maybe just bring up the, the conversation. Like, I'm hanging out with my friends this weekend. And, like, give her, like, a side Are eye. Are you waiting for her, like, or him to invite him, themselves yes. over? Yes, 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 yes. It's like a, do, it's a management tip. It's a management tip of the day. So if they do that, (laughs) if they invite themselves over, then what? Then that's cool. Okay. No, no. So my, my, what I'm saying is that like, uh, try to make it their idea, you know? Huh? Yeah. So does it backfire on you? Of course. (laughs) It could always backfire. No, but I'm saying that, Hey, I would just say, Hey, I'm hanging out with some buddies this weekend. And then... Yeah, and then sit, and then just keep talking about it, and then maybe hang out with your buddies, and do something that she she or he might like, hmm. and then he might be like, "Oh, that sounds great. Let's go. I want to go with you guys." And then there you go. Ta da! It's a little trickery, hmm. right, in the brain. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like a. It's like dangling a <laughs> carrot. <laughs> Right? It's like dangling a carrot sure. and just seeing if he'll take a bite of that carrot. Okay. Yeah. It's like slowly taking a shirt off and seeing if... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. And then, of course, like, if you're introducing them to your, like, friends, don't add any titles. So... That's what I wrote down. Don't say this is my boyfriend or girlfriend. I have been in that situation before. And if you want to end things really quick... Mm-hmm. Claim them in mm-hmm. person. <laughs> when that happened to me, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No I smiled. Way. I smiled. This was like in Uptown at a bar. She, she was introducing me to her cousins or something like that. And she's like, this is my boyfriend. I'm like, hey. Yeah. I didn't, I'm not going to say no. Right. Safe because I'm a douche, but not that big of a douche. I mean, That's true. you know, I could be a big jerk, but mm-hmm. shit, I don't want to do it right there. Uh, but that really just ended it basically. Right. Yeah. So I didn't like that. And yeah, one that's, that's Did you just have a conversation with her afterwards. I just broke it off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because I'm a coward. I don't know. It's just hard to make. I don't know. It's hard to have this conversation sometimes. It is hard. I will give you that mm-hmm. because nobody like, I mean, it's an awkward conversation, but you just got to like, yeah, take rip off the band aid. Yeah, just just rip it off the band aid. Um, yeah, what's next? So just introduce them by their name. Oh, what? Before you, well, this is n- connected to the okay. next one, but don't clan them on Facebook as a boyfriend <gasps> and oh. girlfriend oh. before, like you guys have talked about it. That is a passive. Is it called passive aggressive way to do it? No. I wouldn't say it's passive aggressive. I would just say it's stupid. Oh, that's even more scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, therapist. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, it is stupid to do that because, uh, again, it's more added pressure. So what's the next one? Um, set boundaries. So if your relationship is just casual, leave it at that. Um, don't always be at their beck and call, and they shouldn't always be at your beck and call. And she says here, if like if you're just fuck buddies, then you're fuck buddies. Yeah. Right. If if uh, you guys are just casually dating, it's just casually dating. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So I guess the point here is don't like, don't think it's something that it's not. If that makes any sense. Yes. Yeah. Don't pretend that you guys are gonna be like a long term relationship when, like mm-hmm. Zorik said, you guys are just screwing. What do you what? Screwing. Screwing, huh? So, like, you know that that term, it like, yeah, screwing. Okay. Why did you blink so hard? Because <laughs> I didn't know how else to react. 
Um, I had something else to say about that, about boundaries. Um, I think that's all I have to say about boundaries. But I guess, I guess, yeah, it, you know that saying, it is what it is. Right. You know, don't, 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 and it's the whole, because, like, you know, if you think it's something else and it's really not, it's the whole anxiety thing. Yeah. Right. That's, and then you're and you just think, like, setting yourself up for failure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next. Keep it light on social media. Mm hmm. Um, which, again, like, not everything has to be on social media. Let's remember that. That goes back to... Why? Why not? Because... I put everything on social media. No, I post you don't. all the time. No, you don't. Tag you. Oh, I my tag gosh. All, all my the friends. Time. That's I'm so always true. posting. Oh, my gosh. But that is true. Keep it light. And I wouldn't even, like... I, I don't recommend, if you're just casually dating, not even posting anything about the other person. I don't even know if I would want to be, like, friends with them on social media. Mm -hmm. or like. It's because your earrings are too big. That's why it's hurting your, your no, ears. No, it's my glasses. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, she's wearing... Like okay, these like fat earrings. No, I'm it's wearing like my little diamond studs. Are diamond you studs, me? like 50 carats. Like it's weighing down her earlobe. It's my glasses. I just okay. took off my glasses. So I'm just squinting the whole time. Okay. Um, yeah, don't post anything. I have to have everything like super close to my face now. <sighs> That's what he said. Okay. <laughs> 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 but keep it I'm light. Sorry, I can't see without my glasses. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, just talk, okay? Okay. Uh, yeah. So keep it light. Don't post anything on Instagram and 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 uh, anything. Don't don't tag. Okay, post, but don't tag. Yeah, because that's Cause it gets too. tricky too if like you're following each other and then you start like looking back at things you probably shouldn't be looking at. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Or like, what if, what if you're not like, yeah, you're just not serious and you post something about this person yeah. and then, what if like. Somebody else sees it, then they ask you a question. You know, it's this. Or what if you post like this inspirational like song lyric <laughs> about the man <laughs> or the woman? <laughs> Who does that? You? No, <laughs> but I've known people to do it. Oh yeah. Who did it? <laughs> I'm not naming names. Let's name them now. No. Is it your sister? Zorig Sia. Me? <laughs> How dare you? I post all the time. Of course. Oh crap! Something popped up. Hold on. Uh, she said that. Okay, so. What I else? can't see. Hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. Get real. So at first, you know, like at first when you're talking to someone, we always put like our best foot forward because we don't want anyone to like get to see like the nitty gritty, the not so great about us. And eventually, like if you're going to keep seeing this person, even though it's a fling, like you have to start opening up a little bit more. I think you should open up on the first date. Like, like if your goals aren't, don't align and... Let's say, like, you're, I mean, it's everything, whether it's religion, political party, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's smoking versus non smoking, you gotta talk about that stuff early. Because if not, that, that shit's gonna come up later on, and you're like, oh, she, she wears glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. She wears diamond stud earrings. I don't like that. Mm. Hmm. She, she knits. I don't like that. Like, if she would have told me she knit, she, oh, she told me she was a teacher, but she's really a therapist. Like, oh, if, yeah. if, <laughs> if you would have told That's me that true. early. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. But open up early and don't waste your time because some of us are old. Not me. I think Emma's old, but not me. Uh, we don't have time You're to play around. You're older than I am. No. <laughs> you lie. It's you lie. True. Okay. Um, you just said your cousin who was 20 was like 17 years I was, just, Younger I, was than just, you. I was just saying that, okay? Okay. Number six, what is that? Talk about it. Um, so. Taco. Taco. <laughs> so if you try to have a defined conversation, like if you haven't had to define the relationship conversation, like you may just have to ask. Well, you should ask, right? You have right, to ask. Right, especially if the other person's like not broaching the subject. Yeah, or if it's, I say if it's longer than six months, Something ain't right. Oh my gosh! If you're dating someone longer than six months and you haven't DTR'd, yeah, something's definitely wrong. Uh, for the audience that don't know, what is DTR? Define the relationship. Hmm. What's DTF? Down to Fuck. bank. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Wawa? What's Wawa? It's like a, like a gas station. 
What are we? Oh, right, right, Anyways, right. what are we anyways? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's good to, to have that talk whenever it's going too long or you feel it or you're just fed up. You're like, what's, this, what's up with this dude? He's not committing to me. Mm-hmm. So have it sooner than later because... Um, Cause six months can turn into a year, and then a year can turn into a year and a half. And yeah. And you really gotta do it. Yeah. Then you, <laughs> then you really gotta do it. Yeah. Okay. Last, last one. Be honest with yourself. So just remembering that. You know that we are not honest with ourselves. No one is really honest no. with themselves. Mm-mm. Like we, this is like bullshit because. This is like in every so book. So I think that part of like for me, what it is, it's like like the whole it's like the the, the opposite of the schizoaffective no schizo disorder. What oh I always get it wrong, the seasonal depression disorder. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's opposite of that. Like we're getting our melanin in, the sun's out, we feel happy. We're like, you know, just guys the sun so a lot more. <laughs> so so Emma showed me this photo. On Instagram. She's like, do you want to see pubes? Oh, no. It was on my Facebook. <laughs> There's pubes on your Facebook? It was. Okay. So first of all, it was at the Today Show, and it was uh, a debate on whether pubes. women should shave or not shave, and it's being brought by this um, advertisement company for a women's razor, and so it just popped up, and so I just asked que- Zorg the question, and I was like, do you want to see <laughs> Don't make me sound like a perv so when Emma, I wasn't. So should women oh shave gosh, or not shave? See. I mean, technically, it's a personal preference. Yes or no? I it's think no. that if you choose not to, then that's your choice. I just think that the world would be a lot better if we all did. Okay. Um, yeah. Is it Should a man shave or not shave? Like his pubes? Mm-hmm. Just go for it. Shit. You're mo- more than likely you're gonna get like more oral that way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should it be like a, sh- a shaver or uh, like a like a, bl- a blade <laughs> or wax for a woman? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What What's the most um, like non painful way to do it? Shaving. Shaving. Like sure. like with a, a electric wa- or electric razor or with yeah. a. You ever wax? I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we talking about again? <laughs> I think I'm like, be honest with yourself, and me talking about like the daylight to like talking about pubes. Like I'm not. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> uh, Zori has drank like three quarters of a bottle by himself. Just FYI. Okay, continue. Um, so. It's summer, so we're just happier. <laughs> we are just happier, Zorik. That's why we shave. Because of the sun. Okay. And so that's why we're like on this like high of emotion. What does that have to do with be honest with yourself? Like what and is so that? So we think that because we feel like we're happier, because we feel happier because of the sun, we're like, yeah, let's like let's we're totally open. We're totally honest. Like it's just this illusion that we create for ourselves because we just feel happier that everything else is better. I think it takes a like a self-aware person to understand that. And most of us, like myself, I am not self-aware. So, <laughs> anyways, you have to read a book to learn all this stuff. I'm just putting it down to the sun. Sun makes us happy. Cause think about it. In the winter, like I get super I depressed. I don't want to leave anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I'm forced to leave hibernation. Okay. <sighs> you know, you know how to turn a fling into a relationship. Oh my gosh, how Zorik? If you're dating somebody for like three three months or whatever, two months, and you guys are having fun, just say, "Oh, I'm dating other people, by the way." Oh, that Bam. was that was kind of one of the things that Bam. I had. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's a plain like date other people. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. And then the guy's like, "Oh no, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend." Is that okay? So like trick him into it, trick basically. Him. Trick him. Number two, I have another one. Oh, okay. Um, get pregnant. Ew, no. No, no, no. no. Is that too extreme? No, yes. Okay, like trick them into pregnancy. That is the last thing that you want to do. 
Um, because that means you're gonna be having your baby like in March or something, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Oof. Okay. So so you, you so you can't. Uh, so even if you have a kid with somebody, that doesn't mean you're in a relationship. No. Okay. I was. I didn't know. So. Really. <laughs> Uh, the last thing, guys out there, if you want to really be in a relationship, propose to her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's wrong with that one? No, no, no. No? No? No. no. Okay. These are horrible things. <laughs> okay. Don't listen to Sorek. Do not get her pregnant and do not propose to her. That is, uh, those, no. <laughs> yeah. And uh. then don't propose to her because you got her pregnant. Oh, <laughs> that is the way to do it, guys. <laughs> I need more wine. Oh, my gosh. I think you've had enough. I have not had enough, but I think I need the more. audience has had enough. I need more just to, like, at least pretend. I, like, blame it on the wine for all the crap mm. that I said sober this time. But I think you didn't specify that the picture was a woman. Oh, yeah, it was a woman. In a bikini. Yes. And her poops. Poops. (laughs) (laughs) Poops. Her poops. Uh, Her. Her pubes? That sounds like really (laughs) sick. But her pubes were sticking out. Yes. And can I remind everyone, it was, like everyone, crabs, it was like the Today crab Show. Crab. It was the Today Show, people. There was nothing, like, sexual about it. That was so sexual because, yeah, it was like a jungle in there. It was, it was a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're walking down Ooh. the street and you see, like, some bushes, it was just, it was just straight up bush. Ooh. Yeah. But it's crazy mm-hmm. how, like, before then it was, like, you can, you know, you, you don't shave. And now... The thing is shaving, right? It's a very, like, millennial thing. So I remember, like, watching Sex and the City about something. Um, one of the episodes was talking about how, like, a lot of the younger women, like, prefer it versus, like, the older women don't. Or mm-hmm. was it a real housewives thing? Does it feel better remember. with sex if there's pubes or no pubes? Or is it the same? So anyone, so everyone, thank you so much for listening to our show today. Let me put on my glasses to see um, how much what? time <laughs> we've uh, spoken. We've just been speaking for five minutes. So calm. Oh, okay. Calm yeah, down. it is time for us to go. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we are on episode uh, sixty-nine. No, sorry, ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Uh, oh, ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. That is true. That is true. And. Um, what else do we have to say? That's it. Is that it? So I hope that everyone learned uh, how to turn a summer fling into a relationship. And about dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and about bu- pubic hair. Okay. What? You know what? I'm not the only one that probably thought dragons were real. And I am not sorry that I'm still like upset about Game of Thrones, okay? <sighs> All right, everyone. I still um, can't no. forgive the writers. I'm still so angry. So angry there's about a, there's it. There's a prequel coming. I started crying for no reason I this think you past should week. just stop and go shave. <sighs> and we'll talk to the, the audience next week. No. <laughs> just, oh, just so sad about stupid Game of Thrones still. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Talk to you guys next week. Have a great... Uh, I don't know. Summer. Summer. Week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to The Date Podcast. Please subscribe and review if you liked what you hear. Send us an email at hello at datepodcast.com for any questions, comments, or show topics you'd like for us to discuss. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Most importantly, tell your friends about our show. 